Hi, I'm Espen Craft, and that's the Akai 612. Akai caused quite the stir when they released this 612 back in the mid 80s. As a hi fi manufacturer, I guess no one saw this coming, and the S612 is different from all the Akais that came after because this is in black, it has a black color, and it has analog knobs and faders for adjusting many of the functions. There are no hidden menus, everything is in plain sight. And everything is very simple on this sampler. It sounds glorious, it looks glorious, and it's very capable today. And I would say it's probably the best sounding sampler Akai has ever made, especially today going for that retro sound. The quick disk system here by the MD280 disk drive on top, it looks like a, a toaster, is not something you see every day. So let's plug it in and have a look at all the other connections on the back of the S612 as well. I'll attach the disk drive here by inserting this big giant connector type. I have to have some grounding and the S612 also delivers the power for the disk drive as well. You have the usual MIDI connectors, which were pretty new back then, and you have a voice out that allows you to take the six voices out of the S612 and into the AX60 or a couple of other synths that Akai produced in the uh, time period. So let's take a look at how you can sample into the 612. And to do that, you have to use a MIDI keyboard and use the keys C2 through C5 to set the frequency rate which you are going to sample. Each of the C2, C3, C4 and C5 determines the sample frequency. So when you are ready to record a sound into the S612, you attach the appropriate microphone or line input from a source. And uh, if I press one of the keys on the keyboard, you can see it's blinking in the display, which means it receives MIDI data. And after pressing C2 on the master keyboard, I press new again and I'm in sampling mode. And this is the original source I'm using for this sample and I have all the eight seconds because I sample at four kilohertz. And after my sampling is done, I can manipulate this sound further. I can trim it by using the analog faders on the 612, very easy, very fast. I can loop the sound, I can make it go reverse, and I can manually find a splice point. Uh, if I set it in only looping, it will be automatic, but I'll come back to those later in the uh, tutorial. So let's hear the sound at 4 kilohertz.
So adjusting the analog filter on the S612 is very easy and it's in real time. Fantastic. So what else then? Well, we can overdub the sound. We can have the original sound and we can add to it by pressing the overdub. We set the sampling rate the same way like I did there. And that's a new sound. Let's hear that back. And you can overdub as many times as you want. Just be aware of the sound building up in volume. So be careful with the recording levels when you overdub. Let's try a bass sound. That's the original one from the uh, JX8P. And here's the sample version. So let's take a look at the uh, edit functions of the S612. Akai S612, Akai S612, Kai S6, Kai Kai S612, S612, S6, S6, S612, 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 S6, Akai Akai S six twelve Akai S six twelve Akai S six twelve S six twelve S six Akai S six gis six gis six gis six gis Akai S six twelve six twelve six twelve six twelve Akai S six twelve Akai S six twelve 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 six Akai S six twelve I have twelve I have twelve I have twelve Akai S six twelve I have twelve I have twelve I have twelve I have twelve Akai S six Kai S six twelve I have twelve Twelve hours, I have twelve hours, 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 six, 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 six,
And when you've done your editing and you're happy with the sound, it's time to save it. And you can use the MD280 disk drive to save those sounds onto quick disks. And one quick disk can hold two sounds, one sound on each side. And in the MD280, you have a little rack space for 10 disks, but you can, of course, store the other ones on top of the MD280. And let's uh, take a disk out and not save, but load a sound I've uh, done from before. I insert it into Drive, and all I have to do is press the Load button, and that's it. It'll go into Load mode, and it takes about 8 seconds, and you can play that new sound. Saving takes uh, also 8 seconds, so not very long. And it's ready to be played. I think this 612 is a fantastic sounding sampler. Lo-fi, gritty, growling. So if you see one for sale, pick it up, but do it fast because someone else is probably going to beat you to it if you think about it too long. So I hope you enjoyed this little demo tutorial on the S612. I'm sure gonna enjoy this during the Christmas. And I hope to see you soon. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye.